right guys welcome back to the channel so today what we're gonna be actually doing is coding the BMW F30 M Sport logos in the iDrive and also the cluster itself so guys what we're gonna be doing is we are using the Beamer code app and um, that we normally use so you can download this in Play Store or App Store if you're using Android or Apple and um, phones so the adapter that we're actually using is don't know if you can really see it here, a V-Gate iCar Pro. So the adapter is actually plugged in the car and it's taken over. So uh, this video is actually a part seven of coding. So I'm doing this in parts instead of doing it in a full on video and getting confused. So if you wanna know what's going on and go check out my previous videos that I actually done um, about a few minutes ago. Um, but I'm gonna be uploading this in stages so you actually know what's going on and how to actually do it properly in parts and uh, yeah to not go off and damage your car or it, it is too risky as sometimes when you're actually coding stuff like this so yeah guys if if you want to know what exactly is going on and what we're using to do everything go check out part one of the stages there and you'll be able to see what we've done so far okay guys so basically we are now in the app there we are in beamer code so normally guys it's better off actually if you leave your car taking over when you're coding because it's a lot safer than leaving your car and um, not start it up because sometimes you can actually drain out the battery during coding and then your car just goes flat and it could mess up your ECU um, in the car itself so yeah, do leave it taking over, it's a lot better for you. So basically what we're gonna do is if you hit connector, so usually it takes around 40 seconds and to a minute to load up if you haven't loaded it up previously and it's your first time. So you do wait a while until it actually connects up to the ECU module. So me previously coding, it's a lot faster. So just to show you here, there's a lot of cars um, two codes, so there's i3s, 5 series, 7 series, x3s, x5s um, But the car that we're going to be using today is the BMW F30 So what you'd want to do is if it's an F30 You'd want to go into BMW 3 series, M3s, F30s, F31s So that is the whole um, models of the cars that you can code So what you'd want to do is you'd click onto that there so We already have it clicked on And then you'd want to hit OK so once you check in there so it's reading the ECU now and it's connecting up to the car so we can actually start coding finally got into it here after waiting for a few seconds so the first thing you'd want to actually do is so this is the full menu that it actually gives on your car and what can you do to it so basically once you get into the electronic control unit you can see craft safety module air condition electronic modules head unit clusters uh, back uh, front end electronic modules so the thing that we're going to be going in today is head unit so if you click on the head unit there let it read up and connect to the ecu we're in the head unit so basically what you want to do is you can see there that there's audio daytime running lights displays so here we are so sport displays start animation so if you was actually go down to display options iDrive system so there's a lot there that you can do um, to the car so what we're actually be doing is display options iDrive system so as you can see there it says start animation connected drive one once it depends what your car actually is so here we are once you get into the start animation you have you can actually change your i drive when it actually a start up when you get into the car or start it whichever to be as an alpine and um, bmw1 bmw2 that's that's just the standard ones but it just changes in the i drive of the kind of look and um, bmw i would be mostly like the i8 the i3s and um, christmas kind of vibe that you can get it's just a normal bmw one with loads of christmas trees around it connected drive one that is the one that we actually have now in the car at the moment so you can actually change it up the rolls right which is actually pretty cool for you actually that don't know and uh, bmw 
think the ECU that's in the cars and the module um, is actually the same as BMW Mini Cooper and Rolls Royce would be the same when you're actually coding uh, and I think their engines are the same I'm not too sure about it but guys if a lot of you actually know or heard anything about the Rolls Royce and BMWs what they share and what are they in common with please leave a comment down below and let me know if you know a lot more I'm not too sure but that's what I heard of but we won't be coding any of that what we're going to be coding is M Sport logos in the car so basically we're just going to hit on M there so that is for M Sport we're going to hit OK so once we actually do that there what you'd want to do is hit code in the top right corner so as you can see there once you actually hit code it will start coding for you and the sport animations will appear in the iDrive but as I said we went down start animations are uh, onto M so as I said hit OK and then up in the right corner we're just gonna hit code start coding so we're just gonna let it do its own thing and start coding and um, but guys one thing I'm gonna let you know is if you've actually checked up on my previous videos you'll already know but if you haven't the car itself sometimes actually does rev up its own revs on its own without even doing anything the gauges in the car start going 90 to do the iDrive itself starts showing up loads of different kind of stuff sometimes the car knocks off turns back on its own don't panic it's perfectly normal it's all fine so actually the M Sport logo is coded in the car just there as I've seen it and um, hopefully I can actually show you after you turn the car off and turn it back on what it actually looks like exit out the whole lap there so exit disconnect so once you actually disconnect that will be it so guys as you've actually seen it there we have finished the process of coding M Sport logos so I'm just going to flip the camera around and actually show you Hopefully, I'm not too sure now the car is actually taking over and it's on and um, so you can't really see the M Sport logos now Unless the car is turned off and you're getting into the car and that's when it shows you what it's like Car's taking over now. So we got the iDrive right there. So what I'm gonna do is try knock the car off Complete I think you have to leave it off for at least 10 seconds I'd like to imagine just so I can actually completely shut off so I have the key here we're going to lock it leave it for a few seconds so we're just going to leave that there right it's off hopefully now we might see something in the other drive turn it on key there start it up no Try start the car, maybe I'll turn on. No, it doesn't. Sh Damn it. Sorry, I actually couldn't show you is what it looks like in the iDrive with the M Sport logos. For some reason, it, it does that at times once the car has been running or whichever and it hasn't been off for way too long. Maybe if I was to take off the battery now, put it back on, and hard reset it, um, it would show in the iDrive. But I'm not going to do that. It just. To be honest guys, trust me on that one, if he was actually done what I just done there, it will 100% work for you and you will see the difference of the N-Sport logos. You can go off and, um, as I said, do um, Alpina. Uh, a lot of people say Alpina, um, Alpine, I don't know, but Alpina is the proper word for it. But you can do I logos from I8s, I3s, other kind of features of uh, different kind of looks to normal BMWs and um, I know if you were doing it up in the dashboard for some reason I'm not sure my BMW actually won't code the one in the dashboard where you can change it but you can change it up to uh, M3, um, M4, M Sport 1 whichever it is for some reason my ECU does not allow it but guys trust me on that one if you do code it like that it'll 100% work for you which mine does so if he's actually following me on instagram or snapchat i'll actually put it up and show you what it looks like i might uh, get a little picture now and just show you up in the left or right corner what it actually looks like and um, but yeah guys hopefully you did enjoy this video please leave a big huge like if you did hopefully you know now what you're doing and how to code and um, 
but I'm actually even lost now what part of the video this is, either six or seven. But I'm not sure, we're going into the next part and I'm gonna be showing you how to code a lot more other stuff of, um, with the BMW. I think the next thing I'm gonna be showing you is the time of the car, whether we're gonna go with the level of the temperature around the wheels and um, when you're coding it. But yeah guys, please do subscribe if you're new. Stay tuned for other videos. Don't miss out. We I usually do stuff like this and showing you how to code, car shows, events, drifting, and um, a lot more other videos coming on how to do all, all this. Or go check out my previous videos because we'll be able to see this kind of stuff. So as I said, please do subscribe if you're new. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.